Maboy Manila, this is Pope from ManilaShaker.com. Infinix is a Hong Kong-based smartphone company founded in 2013. They're known for listing smartphones on a very affordable price tag. And today we have their newly upgraded Infinix Hot Pen Play. It is powered by MediaTek Helio G35 which is paired with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of external storage. Plus the whopping 6000mAh battery. But the question is, can it actually game? Let's find out on a gaming review of the Infinix Hot 10 Play. First off, let's do a rundown of some of the specs of the Infinix Hot 10 Play. It has a 6.82 inch HD Plus IPS LCD screen, a 13 megapixel f1.8 dual AI camera, an 8 megapixel front camera, and a MediaTek Helio G35 gaming chipset. It is paired with a 4GB of RAM and 64GB of external storage. And to back all that up is a 6000mAh battery but only paired with a 10 watts charging. Though having a large battery at this price point is pretty decent. It runs on Android 10 with XOS 7.0 on top. It has a rear mounted fingerprint scanner and still sports a micro USB for its charging. Here are the benchmarks. And as you can see, numbers are quite low but let's see its actual performance. We will start our gaming review with a fully charged device to also test the endurance of the 6000mAh battery. So let's begin our gaming test. First on the line is Call of Duty Mobile. Unfortunately, only low graphics quality is available for this device. Though you can go high for its frame rates but by default it is set to medium. So let's bump it up and test it out. The game did perform pretty well with high frame rates. I still enjoyed playing the game even though it is only set to low graphics quality. Some of mobile gamers prefer low graphics quality over the higher one. So if you are one of those, you are probably okay with this since on multiplayer mode with low graphics quality plus high frame rates, we get 54 to 58 FPS with 98% stability. Now heading to its battle royale mode with the same settings, performance was okay. But you can feel that it is not stable. Though the gameplay was smooth, but once you aim down your sight, you will feel a bit of stutter. So for the battle royale mode with low graphics quality and high frame rates, we get 27 to 35 FPS with 97% stability. Now heading to PUBG Mobile. Settings by default are set to smooth graphics quality plus medium frame rates. We can go from smooth to balanced graphics quality but HD is not available. So testing with its default settings right before the plane, I did encounter some frame drops on the lobby. But I think it is because players are one by one entering the lobby. Upon landing, we get fewer frame drops and stuttering during gameplay. I am having a hard time playing the game since for some reason players are nowhere to be found. Though I did get one but unfortunately I got shot as well. So with smooth graphics quality plus medium frame rates we get 23 to 27 FPS with 96% stability. Now let's head to MOBA games and start it off with League of Legends Wild Rift. By default settings are set to quality with max 30 FPS. Now let's go to custom and bump it up. Though we can get up to 6 FPS but unfortunately for its graphics, we are stuck at both low and medium quality. The gameplay was okay, we did hit the 60 FPS mark but there are times that gameplay is quite slow due to frame drops. Although nothing too drastic that makes the game unplayable on this device but with its settings set to medium graphics quality plus 60 frames we get 53 to 60 FPS with 98% stability. Now let's head to the more popular Mobile Legends. 
As for its settings, by default, everything is turned on plus the graphics quality is maxed out. Though Ultra is locked, but this time, we have the option to go for a high graphics quality. Performance was great, I didn't encounter any frame drops and stuttering even at clashes. With everything maxed out, we get 58 to 60 FPS with 99% stability. Now let's head to a more graphic demanding games and start it off with Honkai Impact 3. By default, settings are set to number 3 with medium graphics quality, 30 FPS in combat, and 60 out of combat. Now let's head to custom and bump everything up. Now with everything turned up, as you can see it struggles to run Honkai Impact, especially in combat. There are some drastic frame drops but not to the point that the game crashes, though you won't enjoy it. But playing on the recommended settings performs great. So for its bump up settings, we get 35 to 45 FPS with 96% stability. As for Genshin Impact, I won't recommend playing Genshin on this phone since it has more frame drops than stability, which makes the game unplayable even at the lowest possible settings, which is understandable considering its price point. So after 2 hours and 40 minutes of gaming, it drains 29% of our juice. Here are the results of our endurance test. The 6000mAh battery's performance is quite on par with other smartphones with 6000mAh battery that we reviewed. As for its charging, charging the 6000mAh battery from 0 to 100% takes around 3 hours and 13 minutes. So the Infinix Hot 10 Play performed okay with those esports titles, runs League of Legends Wild Rift with 60fps on, Mobile Legends with max available settings, and decent performance on first person shooting games. But with graphic demanding games from MiHoYo Dev, especially on Genshin Impact, the device starts to have a hard time running those types of games. So for the price of 4,990 pesos, this device works great for casual gamers on a budget. But if you are aiming for a better gameplay experience, some smartphones can give you that but at a different price point. So that is our gaming review of the Infinix Hot 10 Play. What do you guys think? Is it worth buying? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future contents. Also, don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparisons of the latest device. Once again, this is Pope, and mabuhay Manila!